Hey everybody, Steve here. Welcome to video eight in my Hollybro Kukute F7 FPV quadcopter build. Yep, you heard that right. We're in video eight, and this video is probably going to wrap up this series. Uh, instead of verbally trying to go through all the videos that preceded this one, I've just got the playlist up here so that you can see for yourself. Uh, there will be a link to this playlist in the description below. One thing that I'm going to mention is that if you are a super beginner, uh, you might find that I'm going a little bit too fast for you, but don't fret because I have an absolute beginner's guide to building an FPV racing drone in this series right here. 11 more videos uh, targeted for the absolute beginner. I go slow. I try to articulate everything clearly for you. So that is at your disposal and the link to that playlist is also in the description of this video. And thirdly, if you're by chance running OpenTX on say a jumper or a radio master or an old FR sky radio, then this series is for you. Once again, targeted for the absolute beginner. This is my radio master TX 16 S beginners, how to series, but it's open TX. So it applies to those other radios as well. But for now, we're going to come back to this series and we are going to pick up right where we left off with video seven. All right. We're back from our maiden flight uh, line of sight, which went really well. This thing flies pretty flipping amazing. And now we're going to uh, do the final touches. Uh, we've got the camera up front right here, and then we've got the transmitter back here. And really it's just, uh, uh, I think it's three wires each, um, basically uh, signal wire ground and power. Okay. So this board makes for a relatively s simple setup for the uh, camera and the uh, transmitter. I've got a VI pad and a VO pad uh, video out is going to go to the transmitter. VI is video in is going to come from the camera. And then I've got battery plus right here or B plus. That's going to be, you know, more than five volts. Both of these items can handle more than five volts. So uh, I'm going to have uh, from the, I guess the transmitter, uh, I'm going to have uh, power here, ground there. And then for the camera, uh, I'm going to go ahead and have my signal wire here. And then ground, and then I've got to find another a uh, I got to find another battery plus. So I could either tap right here, or um, if I can double up on on this guy right here, I'll see how this all goes. But six connections, V O V I, two grounds and two batteries, and uh, that should be it for our uh, FPV camera setup. Not too not too difficult. All right, so I am going to have to do some cutting. This is the. Uh, this is the end from coming from the camera. So I'm just going to have to cut that. And then uh, same thing with the transmitter. I'm just going to have to cut some wires and tap into the board. Okay, so as I did before, after soldering, I uh, spent a uh, little bit of time uh, testing for continuity on these various things. And now that I'm ready to plug in, I'm going to go ahead and definitely plug in using my smoke stopper. All right, so uh, one of these critical moments here, plugging in power is always scary, but uh, I'll tell you what, the smoke stopper makes it much less, much, much less scary. Now that it's passed that test, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the camera for testing purposes. And plug in the transmitter. All right, thing about these transmitters is though, even though this is not the um, antenna that I'm going to be using in the final, uh, you never ever want to plug in, uh, give power to a transmitter without having the antenna on. All right, power to the transmitter, power to the camera. Transmitter's got its uh, antenna on. And I got my smoke stopper still in the mix. I'm going to power over here. Looking good. Now I'm going to go grab my goggles and see if this is working the way it was intended. 
All right, so I made a little bit of progress off camera, not that big of a deal, just three screws here to get the camera on, and then I used a little bit of two-sided tape to secure the transmitter in the back, and now I'm just going to kind of tidy up uh, the rest of these wires and put the top on, and then after that I'll do my pre-flight checklist in Betaflight, and uh, we should be ready to let this thing fly. Well, as you can see, I am completely hooked. Uh, as somebody who has flown for years and years line of sight, um, flying you know much bigger videography and photography platforms, uh, hexacopters and octocopters and stuff like that, uh, I'm just absolutely blown away by what this thing can do, how maneuverable it is, just everything. This is my first real decent FPV setup, and uh, I'm absolutely hooked. So. Uh, Coming down the pike, I, I bought two more F7 boards, and I'm going to be doing full builds of those. And I've got a Cinewhoop here that I'm anxious to do a video, maybe a video series on as well. So uh, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell so that you get notifications of future videos when they come out. And uh, I appreciate you staying with me till the end. If you really like the video series, please do me a favor share on social media, get somebody into the hobby. Because if you think flying is fun by yourself, oh man, wait till you get out there with a buddy and fly together. It is amazing. All right, I'm Steve signing off till next video. I wish you well. See you then.